Hey, this is Dawn. Welcome back to Dawn's Dorky Diary. Today we're going to journal because this is a diary, Dawn's Dorky Diary, about Disney's Boardwalk Inn Club Level, the Innkeeper's Club. I'm going to give you our room tour, our club lounge tour, and basic ins and outs with the Innkeeper's Club. So, here we go. Here we go. Some of you might be asking, what is club level? It's actually a higher level of service that you select when staying at a Walt Disney World Resort Hotel. It's actually about $100 more per night than a standard room rate at an already expensive resort. With the Innkeepers Club, you can expect continental breakfast from 7.30 to 10.30 daily. It consists of pastries, yogurt, fruits, breads, cereal, mimosas upon request. And they try not or don't look like they judge you if you ask for that sort of thing in the um, morning, but it's your vacay, so YOLO. For snacks daily, you can receive them 11.30 to 4.00. Popcorn, chocolate chip cookies, gummy worms, kettle chips with dips, hummus, just yummy nuts, things like that. Juices, of course, drinks, and again, alcohol upon request. And then for the evening, um, you can receive appetizers, hot appetizers, or heavy hors d'oeuvres from five to seven. And that consists of really more your theme of your resort, like let's say sushi at the Polynesian or skewers at Animal Kingdom but it could be meatballs, it could be anything. You really don't know what to expect daily. Sometimes they'll filter in some others from some of the previous nights, but it's usually different nightly, and they're all delicious, and you can get as many as you want. Um, if you're a very light eater, it could fill you up. Mind you, it's not meant to replace a meal, but hey, you paid for this vacation and you paid for club level, so do what you do. Um, again, alcohol upon request. I think there is a going theme here. <laughs> but you also have desserts and cordials from 8 to 10, and that is exactly what it sounds like. Yummy, yummy, and yummy. And again, alcohol upon request. My favorites are mimosas for breakfast, champagne, and some beer. I like that too. Nothing real heavy or anything and uh, that's my going drinks. And of course my pina colada, but they don't serve that in the club lounge. I'll have to pay extra for that, but it's worth it. I think it's a good value if you have a large family and you factor in the cost of these items daily. It might kind of pay for itself with the upgrade to club level, so you'll just have to see if it fits your family and your pocketbook. The Innkeepers Club Club Lounge Tour begins now. As you can see, not a necessarily large club lounge. It was adequate in size, and it never seemed overcrowded.
Another thing to factor into club level is the lounge space itself provides you an extension of your room. It's like a living room in a house. So when your kids or your hubby are getting on your last nerve and you want to pull every piece of hair out of your body, your eyebrows, your eyelashes, your hair on your legs, which ladies, you better not have any, and your hair on your head, there's a space that they can go get away, everybody have some time to chill and eat, drink, use bathroom facilities, watch TV, speak with other Disney lovers, and just have a break from one another. You're at a theme park, you're tired, it's hot, you're all going to be on, you know, each other's nerves. So if you want an extension of your living room or extension of space from your room, that is a nice benefit in booking club level. <laughs> Another added benefit to Walt Disney World club level is if you're in the theme park and you buy some souvenirs and you don't want to carry them around. Normally in a standard room, they would send it to your gift shop if you have more than a day before you check out because it sometimes takes a day to get over to your gift shop. If you're staying club level, Instead of dropping it off at your gift shop, they'll actually drop it off in your room. So it'll be waiting in your room, usually the next day, just like it would be at the gift shop. But that is an added benefit to club level, especially if you have a bad memory and forget to pick up those souvenirs at the gift shop. So again, added benefit of staying club level, they will have the souvenirs in your room if you buy them at the theme parks and didn't feel like carrying them, rather than the gift shop in a standard room. Here's our room tour in Keepers Club 4263. Last name is Parker. I know, Christopher Parker. He's the best, best employee. Best Disney employee. He works for Innkeepers Club, Club Level at Disney's Boardwalk Inn. He should really get a promotion. And he is amazing. And more money. Actually, everyone here we've encountered is absolutely amazing, whether Club Level or not. All the employees, they really want to serve the customer and give them what they want, and that is everything we've expected, almost, because Disney is so awesome. This is a two queen sleeper sofa. Can sleep five, comfortably. Disney's Boardwalk Inn, becoming one of my new favorites. If you wanna stay in the Epcot Resort area. And the balcony here is, oh my God, just so amazing. I mean, literally amazing. Fourth floor. This is what we're looking at. We have a view of the lawn and Crescent Line. We have Cop Resort area, Boardwalk, which we'll be able to watch jugglers and everything this evening. The lawn. The art gallery, which is very beautiful.
love level, you'll receive pre-trip itinerary planning. You'll receive sometimes magical fast passes on your My Disney experience. You'll receive two robes, two slippers, club level lounge facilities, bathroom, TV, um, hot appetizers, snacks, breakfast, and desserts and cordials, alcohol upon request. You'll receive extra toiletries. You'll receive a welcome gift of chocolate with the emblem of your hotel on it. Yum, yum. So I usually take a quick picture and eat it up before my daughter grabs it. So that's another plus with staying club level. Turn down service with nightly chocolates on your pillow. My daughter specifically loves that. She tries to nab all the chocolates before we get to it. You'll receive a personalized family planner that has like the Gosden party. It'll say your um, recreation, dining, or fast pass, um, fast passes for the next day on it with the weather of that day, the opening and closing times of the theme parks. So you can get that nightly and read it before the next day and you'll have it as a secondary, you know, um, uh, copy pretty much of your fast passes for the next day that you can look at real quick rather than having to pull up your My Disney Experience app. You will have great club level cast member experiences. A lot of them know your name. I feel like the cast members are like the creme de la creme. They are the best Disney cast members. That's hard to beat because Disney cast members are amazing, but they seem one step above that. So I would say amazing is normal Disney cast members, and I would say extraordinary are Disney club level cast members. You'll have a feeling of extra security because you are um, in an exclusive section of the hotel that usually your magic band has to access. Let's see what else. You receive the private entrance, private check-in. Again, you have the private club lounge, which in itself is the reason to stay. That includes all the goodies that I spoke of earlier. And again, that extension of space that it provides you from your room so your family can have some time apart and chill out. And I'm trying to think of the other items with club level benefits. I also like about the club lounge itself is if your room is not ready when you arrive or if you checking out at let's say 11 and your flights not till 5 o'clock that evening the day you arrive and the day that you leave you have full access to club lounge facilities you can use their bathroom watch TV eat and drink all day long it's a great place to hang out before if you have nowhere else to go before your room is ready and same, after you check out, you still have access to that facility that day until evening. So that is a nice bonus to club level as well.
What Disney Deluxe Resort Club level is your family's favorite? Comment below and let me know. Hey, that rhymed.